Four Midwest Guys presents... Podcast Night in America. Hello everybody and welcome to Podcast Night in America. I'm your host Brian Inkenbauer. With me today is Brian Willenbrink. What is going on? And his brother Aaron. Yeah. How's it going guys? Good. All right, good. So today we're going to discuss the monthly subscription movie pass and whether us here at Fort Midwest Guys think it's a good idea or a bad idea. All right, sounds good, man. So what the heck is movie pass? Okay, so movie pass apparently is a um, a monthly subscription. It costs ten dollars nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Um, you pay one monthly fee, okay, okay, and you get to see one movie a day in the theater. Are there exclusions for that? No. Only well, the only exclusion I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit, but the only exclusion that I've come across is uh, you can only see the two D. Okay. So you can't see the 3D, you can't see the IMAX, and you can't see the um, w- locally f- new for us is the Dolby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even though it's in 2D, but the sounds in 3D. So mm-hmm. you have to see it just like standard. Yeah. Standard movie. But I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Okay. So I want to go. We're going to go through some of the most most commonly asked questions about it, um, and then we can, we can discuss if you guys feel we need to discuss some more. We, you know, we're just going to give a brief brief overview of the whole thing and what we think about it when we're done. Because um, I know Aaron, Aaron probably doesn't know about it. Brian knows a little bit about it. Very Only long. reason why I know about it is because I made the notes. So uh, let's see. What exactly is Movie Pass? Uh, Movie Pass is a subscription service that allows you to see up to one movie a day in theaters. Now, um, I know that you can get a year mem- membership okay. um, for ninety dollars. Okay. All so right. that's like twenty dollars off the price, right? Because mm. so ninety bucks a year, you get to see one movie a day. On no special, you know, no no 3D, no. Right, but you could go. You, but we could have just recently, if we had Movie Pass, we could have went on opening night to see Star Wars. Really. In 2D. So does that? Does I wonder if that assigned seating works then with that? Yep. You can get assigned seating. Mm-hmm. So I could have had everything seen it for free if I'd had my little Movie Pass. I don't know. It, does it depend on like which theater you go to? Uh, like, does it like is there brands like AMC or Ray or like where they want to so it? so local it um, the website says that it, um, I mean we're going through questions but I didn't have to do them but yeah um, the website says that it works at ninety one percent of the theaters across America mm. okay okay so locally good. for us I called okay and the one in Florence mm. the, the rave, rave yeah um, they they do it uh, which is is that Cinemark or is that uh, Cinemark the one in Wilder no that's Cinemark okay. rave is Cinemark yeah rave is Cinemark yeah. okay so Cinemark for us mm-hmm. uh, rave um, the one in Wilder takes it. Okay. That's Regal. That's Regal, yeah. And AMC at the Levy takes it. Mm. Yeah, that's all. That's pretty major brands that are across the country. And that's all of us here in Northern Kentucky. That's all our three, our three major ones. Mm. Right. Cool. So, so all of those movies, okay? All right. Um, Sounds pretty cool so far. Yeah. Uh, and earlier for Christmas time, Costco had a deal with them, and their year pass was $78. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. So what, what would it be like monthly? I guess then. Well, it's 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 nine and nine if you go monthly. Uh huh. It's okay. only ten bucks a month. Right. right. Or if you go for if you want to buy the whole year all at once. Right. It's either ninety dollars. Yep. It's like so essentially it's like buy ten months get two free. Right. Or seventy eight dollars if you have a Costco membership. Mm. Like and I think that ended on the nineteenth. So, is it assigned to an individual person? Yes. So the way the way it works. Um, like, is it something you could just hand back and forth between friends and shit? Is no, no, no. Like? So the way it works is um, you sign up. They send you a MasterCard. Okay. With your name on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, you, you, you link that MasterCard with your smartphone. Okay. Okay. Now, when you, you, you can only buy tickets when you're within, I think it's like a thousand feet or something of the theater itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So you, so you the check theater. into the theater. Mm-hmm. It gives you the show times. Okay. You select the show the show that you want to see in the showtime, mm-hmm. and it says, you know, congratulations, you picked it. They, in turn, load the amount of ticket onto your card, mm-hmm. and you can go to the little kiosk or you can go to the counter, yeah. and you swipe your card, and it prints out your ticket. Interesting. Okay. Okay? All right. That's pretty cool technology. Yeah. Um, Brian, do you have a picture of the movie pass? The movie pass? Yeah, give me one second, and I'll have one more for me. Give me just a few minutes. So. Yeah. So we'll... We'll be talking about it as he's moving around with that stuff. Um, so you can sign up to get one at moviepass.com. Mm-hmm. Um, on that website, 
Um, there's also um, a search a search engine. Okay. So you can you can check your area to see what movie oh, theater so you can is accepting the eligibility. For right. It. So if you travel across the country and say you're traveling to Denver, mm. or tra- say you're traveling to Atlanta, or you're traveling to L.A. or wherever, mm. you can check to see if movie pass is accepted there, okay. which it should be almost everywhere because it's a Mastercard. Okay. Right. So it's yeah. not it's not a it's not a little paper pass or mm. you know a, like a ticket that comes in the mail or whatever. Yeah. It's an actual credit card. So, mm. and they're paying, MoviePass pays full price for the ticket, so it's not like they're, the movie theater's adding any money. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, uh, what's the next question? Can I use MoviePass to see any movie? And we talked about that. Yes, you can see any movie, um, as long as it's not in 3D, Dolby Digital, or IMAX. Mm. Uh, can I use MoviePass to buy more than one ticket at a time? Uh, no, you can only buy one ticket at a time. So, so your date's SOL, essentially. Your date's SOL unless you both have a movie pass. Unless you both have it, yeah. That would be kind of cool. So, so, you know, for nine ninety nine, you can go, mm. and, your, and your and your significant other can go with you, mm. and you guys can go to the movie every day if you guys are well, big movie I mean, buffs. It's like 20 bucks a month, but yeah, I see where you're going. Yeah. So, it's, it's $180 a year, and um, basically, so, if you go, if, basically, if you go to the movies mm. once a month, mm. it pays for itself. Okay. So, if you go more than once a month... Mm-hmm. It definitely pays for itself. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there any blackout dates? Nope. No blackout dates. You can see anything on opening night. Just like I said, it's only as long as it's in 3D. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a limited number of movies you can see in a month? Nope. But you can only see one per month, but you can see movies every day. Yeah. Now, So if you want to watch Star Wars every day until it leaves theater, that's an option. Uh, yeah. So um, I had read somewhere that, um, I guess originally, you couldn't see the same movie more than once. Okay. Okay. So it had a built-in cap originally. Right. Originally it did. Um, now we have one of our friends, uh, Mr. Kaiser, who's mm-hmm. a, answered some questions on Facebook for me. Um, he said that you can see the same movie day after day after day. Mm-hmm. You only see it one time per day, but you can see it day after day after day. Mm-hmm. So it would work if you wanted to see Star Wars. You know, if you have six days off mm-hmm. and you're like, you know what? Every day at ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna go see Star Wars so I can get all well, the details. Well, you're that. Your like hours are consistent enough. You can be like, all right, I'm off at six. Going to catch the eight o'clock film. Yeah, we're showing. Yep. Um, let's see. It says, can you do do do? Can I can I lend my movie pass a card to somebody else? And no, because your card is connected to your phone. But in theory, you can buy them the ticket. Correct. So if you, I guess technically, if you go to the theater because yeah. you have to be within a thousand feet of the theater to check in. Mm. If you go to the theater with them, you could essentially buy their ticket for them. Yeah. Because you're, essentially you're buying your own ticket, then you just hand your ticket off. Yeah. But you can't just say, you know... Take my card. Take my go. card and go. You have, you have to say, take my card and my phone and go. Yeah, yeah, you have to have both in yeah. order to do it. Mm-hmm. But you could do it. That's, you could do as it, As long yeah. as you don't mind lending out your phone with your card. That's yeah. kind of a big deal. To, now, if you have it to your girlfriend or something, there's your movie pass graphic, by the way. Give me a second to resize that. There, there we go. So, there's movie pass. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It looks like a credit card with a MasterCard logo on it. So, mm-hmm. uh, it looks like any other credit card you'd get with any kind of, like, um, yeah. you know, design that you get at the, your credit card company or your bank says, you know, do you want the Bengals or do you want the Seahawks or do you want Cats or whatever. You know, Marvel, I think, was one at one time. One time, yeah. Um, so, there you go. That's what it looks like. Um, uh, let's see what else we got. We got, does it work with theaters and with reserved seating? Yes, it does. Um, it doesn't matter if it's reserved seating or not as long as it's 2D. Yeah, that's a big thing now because you got these recliners and you've got a lot of reserved seating. That, that's, that's new here now. It's been around other places. Right. So. Um, it says, um, how far ahead do you have to reserve a ticket? Um, can you just use it on the whim? There's no specific time frame when you're supposed to use MoviePass. Okay. Um, you, have to, you have to have to use it the same way, you know, debit card or whatever. Um, so my guess is you can go to the theater okay. and buy your ticket. Mm-hmm. In advance, as long as you're at the theater, hmm. and I, my guess is you can only buy it for the day of the theater. Mm-hmm. So, like, it may not work with opening day if something as big as Star Wars. Okay. Um, only because they sell out in advance. But if you do it early enough, I guess you really well, yeah, in advance, yeah, advance would get in the way. You could probably, yeah, you could probably see it opening weekend. Yeah. But, but you, you probably couldn't see it opening night. Opening night, yeah, because they advance tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it says, does movie movie pass work outside of major cities? Uh, yes, it works all over the country. Um, my my understanding, my, my thought would be that 
the further you go out mm -hmm. would be the less likely it's going to work. Yeah, um, you get to the more remote, the the, independent theaters especially, it, yeah. yeah. Um, you get to the independent theaters that only take cash or, right. you know, those may not, probably aren't going to work because it's credit cards. Smaller but, markets, yeah. yeah. Um, let's but see. eventually it could catch on, like wildfire. Can I use awesome. MoviePass to order tickets online through sites like Fandango and stuff? Yeah. No. Okay, so you have to physically... And it's 100 yards of the theater. It has it in this line 100 here. yards of the theater. Okay, so really you have to physically be there. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, you have to be there. Um, okay. But if you want to buy a ticket in advance, you just need to go to the theater early. Right. Um, can, I, can I share my MoviePass membership with a friend? Nope. MoviePass's membership is just your own. Okay, so strictly your own, except we've kind of figured out you can hack it, but it would take right. quite a bit. And then, and then the other thing oh. was, um, uh, originally when they said that you couldn't see it, somebody said, well, mm -hmm. you know, with most, most movie theaters, you can just buy a ticket for a different movie and then walk out the window and see. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Aaron, what do you think? You think that would work? You, what? you think this will catch on? You mean? I mean, possibly. Yeah. It really depends on people's budgets, and it's one of those things like, yeah, you can do that, or you probably still have a significant portion that still just want to wait until it's on Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Right, but this might be a way to tap into the digital generation, so to speak. I mean, I mean, it's definitely a possibility. Yeah. I mean, think but about I mean, there is a limiting factor to it since there is definitely a push for both 3D, Dolby, and like surround, and like kind of transitioning the theater experience as a whole. So as that catches on more and more, this actually becomes more limited by that. I could see like a upgraded, like I've got a movie pass plus, you know, mm -hmm. that gets me into three D shows. Well, yeah, but it also depends on how much yeah. of that extra cost you like per month. Or right, whatever. exactly. Right. It would depend. And the other thing it's probably going to do. I mean, just thinking about it, you know, majority of the theaters make all their money on concessions. Well, if I'm not paying for my movie ticket, mm -hmm. guess what I'm buying when I go in there on my second or third time that month? Right. When I'm still not paying for a movie ticket, I'm like, guess what? I have. 12 extra bucks in my pocket, I'm going to get a pop and a popcorn. Maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, either that or if you're like, I'm going to save as much money as possible. True. I mean, I'm not going to buy shit. Yeah, if I mean, you're you like us that, that review a lot of movies, it's a great deal. I'm going to get one probably just to try it out. Yes, yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely going to buy one. You know. um, let's see. Uh, it says, um, why has M AMC Theaters come out against MoviePass? Um, I'm not sure if it was... I mean, this was back... Months ago, the beginning. now they're not, you know, now when the big thing kind of died down, mm -hmm. they're accepting everything else. But uh, the original thing was AMC didn't think the, 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 the premise, like their, 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 um, their, uh, whatchamacallit model, business model, um, had any kind of stability to it. Right. They, they, they thought, you know, it's going to go out. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I think the premise is based on, I guess, would eventually be based on numbers, right? Volume. Right. Well, well, what they're hoping, this is right. what they're hoping, is that by using this pass, movie theaters are going to see their profits go up because right. of the concessions, concessions and stuff. And they're going to say, you know what? We're going to give movie pass mm -hmm. as a whole a discount yeah. on buying these tickets, right? Mm -hmm. And that way, you know, movie pass starts making money. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, like, you can make an argument this almost could profit in the same way gyms do, right? Like, essentially, people buy them, don't use them, and that's really where. Right, have new works for Movie Pass itself. Right, right, exactly. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's how some people are. And they're like, you know, oh, I didn't go to the movies this month. Mm. Well, then that's ten bucks that they save, but they still paid the ten bucks. So right, mm. so it's a membership thing. But it, it's also it sounds like a great counter to the home theater, right? Because that's the death of tickets. As people don't have to go, I'll wait a few months because well, yeah. it's like but three I or mean, four months now, and it, here's your video. Yeah, and, and also it's, it's, though, it's like that works if like everyone you know has one. And you can all mm -hmm. like meet up and be like, "Oh, we're going to well, do yeah, this." Or... Exactly. And also, if it's not a, if it's not a blockbuster, you know, you know, I'm I'm not going to pay twelve dollars to see something. I'll just wait for it to come out on video. Right. But now, if mm -hmm. I'm getting to see one free every month, I already went and saw my blockbuster, yep. and now I can have you know twenty twenty some more times I can actually go to the movies if I wanted to. I'll go see Ferdinand. We were talking about that. I'll, I'll go see Ferdinand. I'll t you know I'll use my movie pass and I'll pay the eight bucks or six bucks or whatever it ends up being to go for my daughter to go. Right. And we'll go see it. And I'm not out all that extra money. Right. You know I'll go see movies that are Oscar nominated, but they're you know they're not my type of movie. Right. I'll go see not them in the theater genre. because I can see them for right for free. And we can essentially do, we can actually do Oscar reviews now. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the negative stuff that I found while you know while searching. Um, Okay. We were just kind of kind of briefly touching on it. People don't go to the movies mm -hmm. that much, so it's not worth it unless you go once a month. Um, right. But if you go multiple times a month, mm -hmm. then it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you don't mind seeing in two D, yeah. most most people with glasses, yeah, 
don't even like the 3D because we have to put an extra set of glasses on. Yeah. Like, you, like you really have to get the angle right in order yeah. to make it work. And I mean, yeah. Brian, we went and saw we went and Star saw Wars. Star Wars mm. in 3D IMAX. twice, right? When we saw it in IMAX, it almost yeah. made us sick because we were sitting on the side. We're at the angle, yeah. And every time we move our head just a little bit, the whole screen went blurry. Yeah, I definitely want to see it again in IMAX, but I want to get us in the center. center next time. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, one of the thing people had problems with initially was syncing their card with their app, mm -hmm. um, but it gets resolved, you know in mm -hmm. Pretty much no time. The one guy took him. He said he said he had an issue, but it took him an hour. Okay. But he got it resolved. It was a. It was some kind of link on the other end. Like he activated the car, but the right. website on his phone didn't say it was activated yet. So it was a glitch. So, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. You know, it, that'll get resolved. The more popular it gets, the more test beds you get with the different well, models that or or phones. More user error. Well, that could also go. Well, hand yeah, in hand. that could be too, but. You, you resolve these things as you go, so, mm -hmm. you know, it, the fact that it's been out a few months now is probably better. Oh, it's been than out way longer than a month. It's just been in low, like, we just found out about it. Yeah. It's been out for a while. Has it? Yeah, it's been out for a, a while. So that they've had the time to maybe work out a lot of the, the bugs and have, you know, well, I've got a Samsung, well, I've got a Google, Google well, see, Pixel, and here, here's I've got how, an iPhone. Yeah, know. here's how it started out. So it started out with, um, there was a couple subscriptions, mm -hmm. okay, and one was $50 a month. And one was thirty dollars a month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that and the, and they had I can't remember how many how many users they had, right? But you have your diehard movie fans that are going to be like, I want that. I'm going to go. I go almost every day anyway. Right. I want that pass. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but in order to get more users, they're like Netflix charges nine ninety nine. I'm going to charge nine ninety nine, and then you can go to the movies as much as you want. Yeah. So essentially, that's what it's competing with. It's yeah. trying to go for that model. Yeah. I mean, now is that. Selling at a loss initially in order to try and increase customer revenue, do you think? I think it is. Because, I mean, you got to yeah. look at it as... Um, because even movie if you look at Netflix's so, model, that is kind of how it worked out. So movie years. tickets here are $12 uh, well, or $11? Well, go 14 if you want the recliner, so... Okay, so fourteen dollars for a regular that yeah. matinee too, mind you. Yeah. But that was three D, right? But certain theaters nearby also 3D, had discount days. But it was two D. Three D matinee recliners. What we but, saw but, the but, Okay, Star but what's two D? Because that's where you're gonna. That's. Hmm? That's okay. We'll go to three D. So three yeah. D was fourteen ninety five, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I so, so you're only paying nine ninety nine a month. Mm -hmm. So you're already saved. That's five bucks. But I don't know what the difference is there with the two D, whatever. But it's still, still a couple bucks, right? So even if you use it once, theater, even if you use it once, movie. you're costing the company. Money, two dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. But if you don't go, then it, you know it goes it reverts back, and they mm -hmm. save ten dollars, right? Yeah. But I think what it, what they're trying to do is they're trying to prove that people are going to buy this, and the concession prices are going to go up in the theaters. Right. And the theaters might supplement them. And the yeah. and the theater will say, okay, well, we'll give you, we'll sell you the tickets for eighty percent. Either that, or they'll try to make it up by showing ads before the theater right. as well. Right. So we'll, we'll give you. That's already a tactic you see theaters using in order right. to compensate for loss. Right. Yeah. So we'll we'll, so. we'll, we'll give you eighty percent off on tickets. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it won't come to the it won't come to the user, but the the service will stay at nine ninety nine. Right. And then the company will start making money because they have over a million users already. All right. I can see why. I mean, yeah. just as a parent, let's you know, I, there's a lot of kids' movies, right? Like, if my daughter, thank God, she she didn't want to see it, but if she wanted to see My Little Pony, I would have had a hard time taking it out of my pocket. Right, to go see My Little Pony, to go right? see My Little Pony. You know, it could be worse. You could have seen the Troubles film or well, what that, other that random too, crap case right? films Stuff that I have here. no interest in, but if I have a card, then that's less money that I have to spend, and I'm mm. going to use it more than once a month. So, mm. to me, it's a win-win-win. You know? Right, exactly. So um, The last, last negative I found... Um, was the fact that they considered Dolby Digital, which is only 2D. Yeah, still... Th they considered a special one because the sound is in 3D. Mm. Okay. So well, is that a situation you still get it and you just cost you... Like, no, no, they won't, they, 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 they won't let you see that movie at all. Mm. Now, I can see this getting more popular. If if this really catches on, then I can see a movie pass plus, like I said, or a movie pass, you know, gives you an extra... Mm -hmm. that'll get you, maybe this is movie pass 3D, or this is movie pass Dolby, you know. Right, exactly. Like you pay for an additional fee, fee to pay the, maybe the a couple ones. bucks a month more. Yep. Maybe. Like I, I, I would be. That would probably be you know pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So that, that's it. What do you, what, Brian? Would you? You're gonna buy one? You think? I think I'm gonna at least try it out. I mean, uh, I don't know if I'll put up the ninety per se, but uh, I might. But I might try the ten bucks a month and see if it's worth it. You know, see if it's something I end up using quite a bit. I think just from this podcast perspective it's worth it because we do so many movie reviews as it is anyway so from that perspective it's definitely worth it 
However, if I take myself out of that and just look at myself as a common day person that doesn't have a podcast, like a lot of our viewers, I would say that, yeah, I would still use it because, yeah, if you have kids, perfect investment because you're going to save your own ticket. If you're a big movie goer, any kind, I mean, all you got to do is use it really once a month and it pays for itself. So if you go twice, then, yeah. well, you I know. Mean, for last year, that would have been fine, but and I actually think for the upcoming year, that's true, too. But, like, there have been some years where sure. you really don't have a lot coming out every month, but, so but that, that is a very But think lot. about, and you're looking at it, I mean, and I know what, what you're saying is, like, there just was, really wasn't, like, any big big movies that came out. Yeah. No, but, no, like, but, but you're 2017, also, 2018 looks good, but, like, you go back to, like, 15, 16, like... Right, eh, but you're also, look, you're also looking at, you know... I don't want to pay to see that movie. Like I'll watch it, wait and wait for it to watch it. I'm thinking. So, but if know, you man, had like, three tickets to it, essentially, or let's let's not just, necessarily, man. Like you also have to consider like the value of your own time at some level. Or let let's just say date night. You know, you got your wife and she wants to go see some, some romantic thing. You're you know, if you both have it, hey, freebie. If you don't, well, you don't have to pay for your own, right? Well, and that and you also like you're sitting at the house and you're like. I'm bored. Let's go. What am I gonna do? Go somewhere outside the house. Let's get out of the house. Hey, Let's do hey, something. Hey, Stop well, watching hey, the screen in your home. Hey, Watch the screen yeah, outside. outside. Your home. Hey, at least hey, you get out. Hey, Willem, right? you want to meet me up at the movies? Sure. We'll use our movie pass. Yeah. I mean, that's. I want to go see Star Wars for the twenty-fifth time. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Aaron, what do you think? You think you'd buy one or no? I'm on the fence about it. I, I mean, I can see the value for certain individuals, but like, it depends on your budget and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's, it, it would, I would consider it like buying Netflix. So. I only have Netflix, so, I, you know, I would just say that's part of my entertainment budget for the yeah. month, right? So, yeah. And a lot of people are cutting the cord anyway, so. Oh, yeah. You know. I mean, there's really no point at this yeah. point keeping it. I, I only see positives out of this. I I certainly hope it, it exceeds. My only fear would be that, you know, it, it, if it doesn't, not enough people sign up and it, it falls apart, you know, but... If collectively enough people do it, then it's it's a great benefit, and I don't see them up in the price either anytime soon because they're still I mean, competing they with Netflix. Three or four Hulu years and, down the line, yeah, I mean, maybe. even Netflix increases price over time. Yeah. Over time, but I mean, I, within the least the next five years, I don't see it. And like you said, they, they might around. do they might do a Movie Pass Plus. Right, you get your Movie Pass Plus. You know, I really love Movie Pass, but hey, I want to see it in 3D. I want to see 3D movies, or I really like the Dolby experience. Can you help me out? They're not going to turn you away. I mean, they want your money. That's that's mm-hmm. that's the idea behind business. And oh yeah, but whether that's profitable to Movie Pass or whether that's profitable to the local theater is a different well, and thing. I, and I think that's the thing too, because you got because like really, if the movie really, theater isn't seeing concessions that go along right. with that, then at some point that doesn't pay out for them. Well, you got to understand, especially with them putting ads in the theater now. That they're making most of their money off the ads, and they're also making, well, they're making money a off percentage of that uh, money off ads. Whether ads, that's enough, well, is a different argument. It's easy, honestly. There's still a lot of dead time, but if you walk into a theater that's constantly rolling ads, mm. even from the people that get there early, mm. you know, then you're making. I'm just yeah, saying, you can make an argument that ads are actually more effective yeah. and could actually co- gain the theaters more money if it has a higher amount of people viewing it yeah just that's something the theater would have to prove and actually charge more for advertisement as revenue goes well out. sure i mean, I mean they have to prove. movie goers go in but still i'm just saying i think they're going to make more and more money from advertising and concession stands because let's let's look well, last jedi for example demanded 70 percent of the money made from the ticket sales so that's a pretty large chunk and change and then mm. disney's only getting bigger so if yes, they can the corporate model if you yeah expanding. so if they got a lot of power, so you know, if they're going to take seventy percent of my revenue of my ticket sales, then I need to make money some other way. This is one avenue if you're open-minded about it enough. Mm. I think is a if I was a theater owner, that's what I would want to do because if not, the theater George Lucas and Steven Spielberg once made a prediction that going to the theater would soon be like going to the opera or going to the theater it's not something you would do every day mm. it's not as commonplace as it is now that mm. eventually they're going to start dwindling because of you well know, you the sold theater we, we talked about it i don't know we talked about it on podcasts or just here in general yeah. um where they had they were come trying to come out with a box yes at your house that you paid a monthly subscription to and you could get a movie in the theater to your home right mm. so there you go there's another so i mean they're trying that avenue right but this just brings you back into the theater and mm. i'm all about the theater experience but you know i'm i'm a bit of a purist from that perspective but i also At understand time, that it may a... go the way of well, I mean, technology mm. for, well for... either that or you can make the comparison to drive in like, yeah at that point like 
they're harder to find. Like you can every once in a while. Right. Like it's there in the summer. It's so in some that's, places. That's what I mean when they said it's going to become like a big time thing. Like you're going to have to pay even more money because there's less of them, mm. and it's going to become like going to a, a play or going to the opera because they're going to start. Well, that, or I mean, like you can kind of set up like a VR headset to kind of give you the entire movie going. Well, experience. that could happen too. You know, but still. The, the idea of going to the movies is, mm-hmm. you know, it, that model is changing because of technology. Yeah. So, well, especially if you're looking at this, how you pay for it, how it's expected to be delivered to the customer so, base. Yeah. Like, people actually using their phones and shit during the film. So, A lot of things have changed so, due to the technology. Yeah, if you don't if you don't evolve, I think the point here is if you don't evolve, you're going to die. Yeah. You, you know. I mean, look. Like, I mean, actually, and entropy is, are the natural course of the universe. You either grow or you die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, look at a good example is uh, the way WWE has done their pay-per-views. Yes. It used to be $50 a pay-per-view, right? Right. And the direct TV and, took most of it. Right. And it was $50 a pay-per-view. And we're like, oh, we got to, you know, if we want to see it, we have to pay $50. Now it's nine ninety nine a month. A month. Yeah. And, and you get to watch the pay-per-view. And now they split brands, right. you get to watch two pay-per-views a month. Yeah. But it's only nine ninety nine a month. Yeah. So now the movies are doing nine ninety nine a month. And See? WWE's pocketing all that money and making more money as a result. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, thanks, Brian and Aaron, for yeah, uh, joining absolutely. me here on our uh, first edition of Podcast Night in America. Uh, thanks to everyone out there on YouTube. Uh, be sure to uh, hit like and subscribe buttons. Absolutely, um, please. Also, you can follow us on social media. Brian, if you can put that up for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Uh, you can follow. You can go to fourmidwestguys.com. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at four Midwest Guys, at AnkZone, at bwilly 1977 um, You can also find us on Instagram at the underscore real underscore ank. Uh, for right now, we might set up a four Midwest Guys Instagram account. I'm not sure yet. Uh, uh, we'll work on that. But please go to the website, especially because you can get all the podcasts there. So. Oh yeah, all their podcasts, and they're all categorized. So you can, you know, if you like certain movie reviews or you like um, certain shows, we have all those listed for us. Yeah. Um, but so I guess till next time, America, we'll be seeing you.